Hey guys, Psychic Pictures here. This is a series that a lot of people either like or hate with a burning passion. Kinda like Naruto, but not as bad. This is Ben 10. Now, this series, in my opinion, is a good series. To the point that I own all the seasons and most of the movies based around Ben 10. I love this series, but let's get to the review. Ben is an average kid that gets stuck that gets stuck with a space watch known as the Omnitrix. The Omnitrix allows Ben to transform into 10 different aliens at the start of the series, with some new ones coming along throughout the series. He ultimately decides that he should go and use it for good. He usually does this, and then uses it for his own selfish purposes, but more on that later. Along for the ride are his cousin Gwen, and his grandpa named Max. Ben is a character that is a typical child with a new toy. Uh, he's naive, but has a strong sense of justice, down to the point where he tries to fight evil when his Omnitrix is on cooldown. Gwen is my favorite character in the show. Well, later in the show, that is. She's a bit whiny in the first half, but once she obtains something in the second half, she is a better hero than Ben, in my opinion. This sucks because I can't talk about it without spoiling anything. Max is a great character that, again, I can't really talk about without spoiling much. Let's just say he's a plumber that did his job extremely well. Wait, is that spoiling anything? Oh well. Um, all the aliens that Ben transform into are memorable in their own unique ways. At some points, he turns into his aliens to do stupid things, like find a trading card in a cereal box by trashing the entire cereal aisle. Um, my favorite alien would have to be Ghost Freak, because I'm a fan of ghosts. The design is great, the creepiness factor is there, and he can possess people without even trying. If I had to pick my least favorite alien, it would have to be Stinkfly. Yeah, he's a popular character in the show, but I don't like the goop that he spits out. Take that away, and he only flies, which several other aliens can do. To say that Ben 10 made an impact on my childhood would be an understatement, but I didn't have as, it didn't have as big an impact as another show that I will be reviewing this year in December. Hope you guys hope to see you guys again for another review. This has been Psychic Pictures, and I'll see you guys next time.